truly the Canadian progressive left doesn't believe it's democracy unless they win. And if that sounds a tad hyperbolic to you, here is an article written by Canadian progressive leftists arguing it's not democracy unless they win. It's an article from the Calgary Herald titled, Opinion, Democracy Under Attack with Recall Petition. This about the ongoing recall petition drive being done against Calgary's very unpopular mayor, Jody Gondek. It is an established democratic process to hold democratically elected officials accountable so that the activists trying to get rid of her are allowed to go around with petitions to get Calgarians to sign up to basically say they want a recall petition and if they get past the threshold needed, a recall election is triggered. They're probably not going to succeed. The threshold is way too high in my opinion. But to progressive leftists, the act of people even collecting these signatures is like the height of fascism. They don't know what democracy even means. Democracy simply just means that the public gets to control the government in some way. Obviously, we don't have a pure democracy where we vote as a public on every single issue. We elect representatives. But if the democratic process allows us to try and recall those people, it's not undemocratic to do so. But the left truly does just think that if they are not winning, then it means that there's something wrong with the system and the whole thing is rigged and it's not democracy. So I want to get into this article here because I did find it truly funny. And I did say at the start that this was written by progressive leftists, plural. Uh, it's just labeled as columnists as the writers because three effectively, in my opinion, hacks who either run nonprofit groups or strategy firms wrote this turkey. It's only a two minute read, but yet it still needed a committee to put it together. Uh, I'll just read a little bit of it. It's quite funny. It says, the attempt to recall Calgary's mayor defies democratic principles and subverts the power of the people. No, it does not. This is the people exerting their power over the elected officials because they are not, you know, dictators. And it says, the majority of voters elected Jody Gondek in every single ward in Calgary. Well, no, they didn't. She only got like 42% of the vote. Uh, and now a small group of people want to uh, uh, want to upheave democracy because they can't comprehend that the majority of people don't share their perspective. The role of Calgary's democratically elected mayor is a leadership role. The mayor, like each councillor, holds just one vote, meaning governing power is shared with the councillors. This vocal minority is intellect intentionally trying to make an example of Gondek and signaling, uh, uh, signaling to others that they have more power than the citizens who voted for her in a democratic election. Well, there's a lot of people who voted for her in 21 who are signing this petition. Her approval rating is only 30%. If anything, the public does not support her, so she is not a democratically popular official. But the idea that she was voted in once, that means that we're not allowed to have any say over whether she stays in office now. That's anti-democracy to not let Gondek do whatever she wants. And no, her role is not simply leadership. City Hall and the mayor's office has a lot of control over policy. Yes, she only has one voter of council, but she has a lot of executive type powers in how policies are carried out, you know, what gets funding and whatnot. And the councillors are not as able to put forward bills as she is or motions or bylaws. And I just want to read this sentence because it's quite funny. 36 of Calgary's 37 mayors have been men, of them, uh, 35 of them white. Calgary's lack, uh, Calgarians lack experience with female leadership and non-white leaders, especially those leaders not only, uh, not only deviant from the prescribed norms by consistently challenging the status quo. Well, that's a great way of saying Mayor Gondek sucks at her job and nobody likes her. Nancy is not white and he was elected three times. I'm pretty sure Calgarians aren't secretly racist and don't want like a brown mayor. If anything, it is complete bigotry from these, frankly, morons who wrote this article trying to claim that, well, people just don't get gone deck. And if you try and run a petition drive against her, well, you're just not democratic like we are. We actually are. We're actually engaging in the democratic process. We're not just going to let an elected official get elected, break all their promises, start raising taxes, calling climate emergencies on all this, and let them get away with it. But to not let them get away with it because you're opposing the progressive agenda, that is fascism. These people are so tiresome, and you can tell this is written by nonprofit and strategy firm leftists, because the fact that they even had to bring up, oh, you know, she's a woman, and people aren't used to female leadership. 
of course. Oh, yeah, it's just because we don't. We're just not used to female leadership. That's why all these people voted for Daniel Smith as the premier. This is why Albertans have voted for Rachel Notley as the premier. You're a complete fool if you argue that people don't like Gonda because she's a woman. If anything, you're a sexist for pretending that Gondek represents all women and that if we don't like her, it's because we just don't like female leadership. That's insane. You're insane for having written this. You know, feel shamed for having written such garbage. This was only this was a very short article and they couldn't make a coherent point, but it's just, it, it's undemocratic. We, we oppose them. It's undemocratic. It, it's not undemocratic. And this is also why I, I oppose like a proportional representation, all these other like systems, it's usually being pushed by people who just want different outcomes in elections and not people who actually want, you know, the public to get what it wants. They just want what they want, their niche ideology to get into parliament or into the legislature or council. They're not actually looking for, you know, the government to be more representative. If anything, the pr pr proportional representation just means that niche parties tend to get to cram down a lot of very niche interests on the general public who didn't want them in the first place. Ugh, sorry for the little mini rant there on proportional representation. I'm I am a staunch supporter of first past the post and I'm basically just a staunch supporter for the status quo of our democracy. I don't like when we start sort of gerrymandering the rules on how people are elected. It's annoying. Anyways, that should be it for me today. Uh, and to bring up democracy again, right before the video ends, I, Wyatt Claypool, I'm running for the Calgary Signal Hill Conservative Party nomination. If you live in this riding, please vote for me by a Conservative Party membership. And the nomination hasn't been called yet, but just make sure you're all locked and loaded and ready to support me. I'm an actual conservative who actually lives in the riding. There are 14 other candidates or so, and I cannot say the same about them. So hopefully you'll support me. Check out my website in the description below, wyattclaypool.com. And also you can try and give to our legal defense fund for the National Telegraph linked in the description below in the Give, Send, Go link. It's some billionaire developer suing us because we wrote accurate things about him that was all based on previous reporting, but he wants to pretend that he's all offended and he's been defamed even though we said nothing wrong and we said nothing new about him. Anyways, that should be it for me today. See you guys around.